If you understand electronegativity, you will never lose marks on a bonding question again. Electronegativity can be defined as how strongly an atom attracts electrons in a chemical bond. Every atom has its own electronegativity value according to the Pauling scale, and it goes from lowest in the bottom left to the highest in the top right, with two exceptions, which is hydrogen having a slightly higher value than we expect, and the noble gases off to the right, which have no electronegativity since they have full valence shells. This matters when we look at how two particular atoms will form bonds together. Since these two hydrogens are the same atom, it means they have the exact same electronegativity value. When the difference between the two values is less than 0.4, electrons are not pulled significantly towards one side or the other, and so we call this bond a non-polar covalent bond. Now when you look at hydrogen and chloride, what do you notice between the two electronegativities? Chloride is much more electronegative, in fact a difference greater than 0.4. This means all the electrons, including the hydrogen's electron, are pulled in towards the chloride. And are much more likely to exist there. Because there is a pole on one side of the bond, we call this a polar covalent bond. And the final case is when you have a metal and a non-metal and the difference is greater than 1.8. In this case, because the chloride is so much more electronegative, it actually has the ability to pull away an entire electron from the sodium and this is what forms our ionic bond donation. And that gives chloride a negative charge and sodium a positive charge in this ionic bond. So to summarize, Electronegativity is how strongly an atom attracts electrons in a chemical bond. And if you understand these three cases, you will always know what bond forms as long as you know what the electronegativity values are. Follow us for more HC chemistry tips and tricks. And if you'd like to get your hands on some of Catalyst's free premium HC resources for chemistry, comment down below Launcher and we'll send the resources straight to your inbox. See you in the next one.